Hi, we are your friends Guruji and Lamma. Today is Guru Purnima, July 3rd of 2012. I am making this recording in English especially for you as I was speaking in Telugu at that time. It will be on YouTube shortly after I finish talking in Telugu. Today I want to share some ideas with you about the significance of Guru Purnima, about what makes a good disciple and the Guru, the past, present and future of the Vipram. About Guru Purnima, what is the significance? It's an opportunity to reaffirm your commitment to serve the cause of Guru who has helped you earlier. What makes a good disciple? You came to solve a problem because you did not feel up to it. You were seeking divine intervention from Guru. The Guru not only helps you to solve it, but also tells you that you are worthy and perfect, that you did not have to change. You are worthy just as you are. Now, what makes a good Guru? Honest, freely accessible, friendly, loving, caring, kind and inspiring you to reclaim your divinity. These are some of the qualities of a good Guru. What is the need for building temples? Temples limit free spirit of God to a location to solve your problems and to help achieve peace of mind by taming the wild waves of emotions. Besides, temples teach you that serving others is serving yourself. Whom did Goddess Kamaka choose to build a Tantric temple? To fulfill your needs for begetting children and taking care of them. She chose a samsari for this purpose, not a sannyasi. Why did Kamakya build the Devipuram temple? To bring down wealth of God, Sri, the same as Siri. Your pilgrimage to 51 Shaktipitas begins here in your own body too. Where is Devipuram? It's in the east coast of India, one hour from Vishakhapatnam reachable by air, rail and road. Who is Devi? Life is the goddess called Devi. Because of her, the world can be experienced by you. Life is in you, which means goddess is in you, which means your body is a living temple. Don't hate it. Have respect to it. Real Devi Puram lives in your hearts. It is yet to be built. Our purpose is to help you discover and nurture your temple. Now I want to say a few words about our projects. Anudan project. Visitors get midday meals, pulihora and sambar rice in the afternoon every day. People doing Punami and Amavasya pujas have full meals. Besides, every day 40 ashram inmates have tea, breakfast, lunch and dinner. We tend to cows and grow vegetables and fruits for them. If we consider only the inmates, 
about rupees 4000 per day and 365 days comes to about rupees 15 lakhs a year. We have upgraded the canteen with stainless steel tables and serving counters at a cost of 2 lakhs. I wish to point out that the total funds raised and received by us till date is less than 10 lakhs while your annual expenses exceed rupees 20 lakhs. To sustain an expense of 20 lakhs in a year, we need to pool a corpus fund of rupees 2 crores to earn 20 lakhs interest. Vidyadan and livelihood projects. We attained adults and children in literacy. Our media team is promoting Sri Vidya through internet, through our website devapuram.com and Facebook Amrita Ananda. Siridhan provides livelihoods to village ladies through savings groups. Now we have about 10,000 women participating in such programs. Gruhadan about 10 low-cost igloos built and donated to villages as community service centers. Shamdan Karma Yoga volunteers are promoting inflow of wealth into you and to Devipuram. About staff Village girls trained to do esoteric rituals with ease are breaking taboos that girls should not do pujas and low caste girls should never be in the temples doing pujas. We are spreading Sri Vidya through making merus which are accepted worldwide and our kudos to the Bangalore team for doing this and we are spreading Sri Vidya through internet classes. Kudos to our media team. We show our respect for Vedas. We have a Patashara with one teacher and 12 students who are learning Smartha for the last two years here. About Anathashram, we have one caretaker and eight teenage girls in this. About our dreams for people, power from the sun, air conditioning and hot water from sun, fuel from waste food, training and video production for village girls as a mode of earning money for themselves and empowering the village and promote spiritual depth in young adults and teenagers through pilgrimages to Shakti Pitas. One last final point I wish to make. Our real Guru is Devi herself and her Navaratis come in Ashvija Masam. So we intend to shift the Guru Pournami to Devi Pournami which happens to be Ashvija Pournami. Not this year but from next year onwards the Guru Pournami will be Ashweja Pornami. Thank you for your listening and support to Devi Param causes. Please empower yourself once again. That's my honest appeal to you. Thank you.